Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these Eid cards decorated with bunting, which you can inshallah give to family, neighbors, and friends to celebrate Eid. To make the bunting, I started with a scrap of watercolor paper, A5 size would be fine, and using watercolor pencils, I scribbled over the front in different colors. Now you can do this using card with colored pencils or crayons or markers. You don't have to use paint. You could even use some printed paper if you have it and skip this step altogether. Once I'd colored in the card, I took a paintbrush and added some water to the paper to blend the colors. I went back and added some more color where I wanted it and then I left the paper to dry. When the paper was totally dry, I drew a line along the long edge to avoid the areas I hadn't painted fully. I then marked along both edges at 2cm, 4cm and 6cm and drew in some lines joining them. I also drew a line across the short edge as there was a bit at the top where I hadn't painted fully. Then starting on the first line, I marked every 1.5cm. So I marked at 1.5, 3, 4.5, 6, and so on. On the next line, I marked around 7.5 millimeters down. I moved my ruler so that the zero was on that point, and I started drawing in marks at 1.5 centimeter intervals again. To make the triangle shapes, I drew diagonal lines lining up the markings I had made and I extended the lines I drew across the page right up to that fourth line. So once the triangles were all drawn in, I cut along the long lines so that I had three strips of painted paper. I then stuck double-sided tape down the middle of each strip. I made sure I pressed the double-sided tape down well so that it wouldn't come off. I cut off the edges and then started cutting out the triangles, which took some time. This makes a lot of triangles, enough to make around four or five cards. To make the first card, I used a card blank and turned it upside down, which helps me draw the curves better. Using a 0.3 size nib drawing pen, I drew in three curves across the card and then turned the card the right way around again. I started placing the triangles I had cut out against the lines, choosing where I wanted each one to go, and then when I was sure, I peeled off the back of the tape so I could stick them all down. I did all three lines, making sure I had five triangles on the second line. I trimmed off any bits of the triangle that were hanging over the edge of the card. Using the same drawing pen, I drew a pattern on each piece of bunting, apart from three pieces in the middle where I wrote the word Eid. I drew different patterns such as stripes, dashes, circles, spirals and stars on the triangles. I then took some mini adhesive gems and stuck them on the line in between the pieces of bunting. It was a bit fiddly, but I think it was worth it. So that completes our first card. For the second card, I started with an A5 piece of black card and folded it over. I then took a metallic marker, this one is a sharpie in bronze, and turning the card upside down again, drew in one long curve across the card. I then drew in some lines to represent strands of string at the edges. I placed the triangles in the same way as before, six of them fit well on the page. I wrote Eid and an exclamation mark in the middle four triangles using the same bronze metallic sharpie. And I wrote the word Mubarak in cursive font underneath. I added two more lines at the top of the card, drew in the string and then stuck on more triangles. I also added some adhesive gems. I used the black fine line pen and started doodling on the pieces of bunting using similar designs to the other card. I also outlined the word Eid and the exclamation mark using the black pen. So here we have our two completed Eid cards. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fill your homes with peace and blessings on the day of Eid and always. Ameen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.